index laws. Powers of powers, that is powers outside brackets, and the zero index. So you remember the index law for a power outside the brackets is you multiply the indices. So that would be if I had a to the power 2 to the power 3, power outside brackets, we multiply the powers, I'd get a to the power 2 times 3 is 6. So this is for powers outside brackets, multiply the powers, the little numbers. So if we're asked to simplify, in the brackets, 2 to the power 3 squared, power outside brackets, I've got 2 to the power 6, 3 times 2. x to the power 4, brackets to the power 5, x to the power 4 times 5 is 20. Now this one's a bit different. The 3 is outside the brackets. This is only for powers belonging to the brackets. The only thing that gets squared here is what's in the brackets. The 3 is outside. So this is 3 times y to the power 5 times 2, y 10. So remember, powers outside brackets affect everything inside the brackets but nothing outside. And if you've got a power where there's no brackets, that power only belongs to the thing that it's with. See this here? There's a power and no brackets. That 10 only belongs to the Y. It doesn't belong to the 3. So powers only belong to the thing that they come right after unless there's brackets saying, hey, we belong to everything. So in this one, this 4 outside the brackets says the 4 belongs to everything in the brackets. That means both of those powers have to be multiplied by 4. This is x, 2 times 4 is 8, y, 3 times 4 is 12. Powers outside brackets affect everything in the brackets. Here, 2x to the power 4. That's everything to the power 4. Now the multiply rule still works, but if you don't have a power, Remember, there's an invisible power of 1 on each of these. So the 2, 1 times 4 is 4. x, 1 times 4 is 4. Powers outside brackets affect everything in the brackets. And if there's no power in the brackets, remember powers of 1. The 0 index anything to the power 0, you remember this one, equals 1. But you've got to be really careful. Watch out for brackets or no brackets. Because remember, powers outside brackets affect everything inside the brackets. Powers without brackets just affect the one thing they come after. Simplify, then evaluate. So simplify it if we can and get the answer num as a number, value. Negative 3 in brackets to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1, 
and this power 0 belongs to everything in the brackets so everything here is 1. Here the 3 is outside the brackets there's an invisible times sign. 3 times 5x to the 0 so that's 3 times Everything in the brackets is to the power 0, so everything in the brackets is 1. But the 3 times part was outside the brackets, so I still have to keep that. 3 times 1 is 3. Here, 2y to the power 0, but there's no brackets, so the only thing this 0 is attached to is the y. This is 2 times y to the 0, which is 2 times 1 minus, but here my 3y to the 0, the 3y is in the brackets, so everything in the brackets equals 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 take away 1 is 1. We've got to be really, really careful. Anything to the power 0 is 1, but in both these laws, watch out for the brackets or no brackets, because powers outside brackets affect everything inside the brackets.